Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the AJW UG30-B72. This is a linear grab bar that is a 72 inch length, and being longer than 54 inch, it's going to have this mid post, which is standard. So you've got the two posts on the outside of the bar, there and obviously at the other end, there, and then this mid post. Okay. Nice quality bar from AJW. Let's go over exactly what it is, dissect the part number as well. So UG30, you know what, before we do that, there's a link below this video to the product brochure. If you'll fire that up, it will be helpful to look at that as we go through it. UG30, from the table on page one, you can see that that's going to give you two pieces of crucial information. It's going to tell you, first of all, that it's an inch and a half diameter. And it will tell you that you have a concealed set screw flange type. What does that look like? Well, here is your flange type. This is a mounting plate. This is a mounting plate, is what this is. Set screw. You're going to get three set screws per flange. So for every mounting point, you'll get one mounting plate and then three set screws. Here's what it looks like. That's the outside. You can see that, that you got a couple of holes drilled and countersunk there. There are actually four on this bar. Okay. So the bar will have those mounting plates. And in an instance like this, you're going to naturally have three mounting plates. Now, which each of the, with each of those mounting plates, you'll have four set screws. I may have said three earlier. Four is the quantity that's on this bar. So UG30 tells you um, both of those facts. The dash B tells you on page two of the product brochure that it is a linear bar, but it's one that has a mount, a mid post or a mid mounting flange. Verse, it's an A bar, but when you get longer than 54 inch on an A bar, it becomes a B bar. A and B are defined on that page two. Then the last two digits are the length. Uh, 72 inch is what this bar is. 60 inch is also available. Now looking at that table on page one of the product brochure, you're going to see how that UG number changes as uh, three things, well, a total of three possible diameters and three possible flange types. So the UG1, UG2, and UG3, that is going to be a concealed snap flange. That's actually, in my experience, the most common flange type that's used on all grab bars. One inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half diameter. UG10, UG20, UG30, one inch, inch and a, half, inch and a quarter, inch and a half with a concealed set screw style, which again is this. So in this instance, these plates go onto the wall. You mark, you locate your mounting points, install the plates, then your bar goes over again, then you set your set screws, and that's how it's installed. Finally, there's a UG120 and a UG130. That is an inch and a quarter diameter and inch and a half diameter uh, with a, an exposed flange. Exposed flanges are used generally where cost is the most important consideration because you'll see the head of the screws. Okay? You'll have some suffixes that are possible after the part number, such as PC for powder coating, if you wanted a specific powder coated type finish. Then you're going to have a PS for a polished stainless. You can take this stainless steel and have them put a polish on it. Not uncommon as well. Finally, you'll have the X for a safety grip, which is a peened finish. It will give you a, a significantly greater amount of texturing to the bar. I wouldn't say that this is slippery to begin with, but if you want the greatest possibility of anti-slip, uh, an X finish would be the way to go. And obviously you wouldn't put an X finish on a polished stainless because the peening process would destroy the polished finish. Now, uh, that page two shows you the bar configurations and it's just the letter in the part number. The A is obviously the most common. After that, the R is very common, which is the wall to floor L style angle bar. Uh, they're all fairly common, but we sell the R often. The S with the outrigger is also common. The L1 is common, the fold down style. Uh, the straddle types over the commodes are common. It's all common, but the A is what you're going to sell all the time. Uh, now, 
we talked dimensionally. Let's jump to the measurement guide link uh, on the uh, below this video to that link. That is going to allow you to see how we define measurements of bars. First of all, the length. That's going to be a reference to the center of the mounting posts, uh, right to the center of everything. So in this instance where you have a three inch diameter flange, if your bar size is 72 inch, you'll have an overall width of 75. Inch and a half to the center, 72, plus inch and a half would be 75. The mounting mid post is gonna be right in the center uh, uh, is where that would be located. It also helps you determine if you have an a non-linear bar, like an inside two wall grab bar. It goes for, everything is based off of center lines, except the clearance dimension. The clearance dimension on all bars are inch and a half. From the wall to the inside of the bar is inch and a half, and that's an ADA requirement that it be inch and a half. So your total projection is gonna be clearance plus bar diameter. That's how that's determined. On that same measurement guide, if you look at the bottom half of the page, you'll see the three flange types discussed in detail, which is very handy, so that you can have a quick look at what exposed, concealed set screw, and then concealed snap flange all look like. Next important document is tech sheet. That's gonna discuss the stainless itself. 18 gauge bar with a number four finish. Uh, the snap flanges would be 22 gauge, except on this, that's not the case because they are, it's the bar itself. So this is gonna be the same 18 gauge material. The mounting flange style is going to be uh, 12 gauge, so it's substantial steel, and that is steel, it's not stainless, okay? Everything else on the bar is stainless with the exception of those mounting points, mounting uh, plates. A number four satin finish is common on this. You will see a, a strength rating. <clears throat> 250 pounds for nonlinear bars, but bars like this construction, they've been tested to 900 pounds, obviously with proper anchoring that's been done suitable uh, to mimic the actual testing uh, conditions. So they're, the bars are outrageously uh, strong and far in excess of most common applications. Not all, but most common applications. The important thing also on this uh, tech sheet is the mounting height. If you're installing this in a residence, you can put it wherever you like, wherever it suits best your application. But if it's a public space, you'll need to adhere naturally with ADA compliance, which tells us uh, floor to the center line of the bars is 33 to 36 inch, and that's detailed there. So that's very handy to have that information. Finally, there is a gar grab bar configuration page that is just a regurgitation of page two of the product brochure, okay? Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the AJW products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website along with a link to the full product catalog. I'm partial to AJW. It's because of a confluence of some, of some factors I'd like to tell you about. First, quality. Second, price. Third, prompt, reliable, repeatable shipping lead times. Like clockwork. I mean, f f by, for the most part. They're, they're occasionally able to be quite gymnastic with making special order items done and get them shipped. Customer service, their people are phenomenal. Okay, responsive, uh, uh, action oriented. If you're doing a project, small or large, and you're unfamiliar with AJW, take a closer look before you pull a financial uh, trigger or make a decision. You might be quite pleased with the quality of their product when you consider the overall cost of the scope of the product. If you have any questions on the AJW UG30-B72 grab bar or any other AJW product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank